Venezuela's risk to climate change compiled and presented by Simisa Class. Venezuela is a small country found in South America. It is a country found in the northern coast of the continent. Its official language is Spanish. Venezuela's territory covers around 916,445 kilometers squared. Its estimated population is about 33 million Guys, the first topic we'll be looking into will be the oil industry in Venezuela. During the 1950s to the 1980s, Venezuela showed improvement to its economy and started attracting immigrants. Venezuela at that time was by far the economy with the highest standard of living in Latin America. Venezuela's economy declined in the early 1980s due to the collapse of the oil prices. Venezuela tried to recover in the 1990s, even in the 2000s. They showed improvements in the late 2000s. However, their economy collapsed again in 2014. Guys, I gave you a brief description of Venezuela's economic history with oil. Now I'm going to talk about Venezuela's relationship with oil. Venezuela is a developing country and it is widely known for its oil exports. Venezuela's economy is heavily dependent on oil. That is why every time the economy collapses, the collapse can be traced back to the oil prices, oil exports, oil expenditures, etc. Venezuela's dependency on one product makes them weak on economic diversification. Economic diversification is diversity within an economy. This means that an economy is dependent on different economic products. Economic diversification is crucial especially for developing economies. The economic diversification ensures that the country will adapt to the adverse effects of climate change. But for Venezuela, this is not the case. Guys, let me give you more information on Venezuela's economic diversification. The oil industry in Venezuela exports petroleum. The petroleum cam capital accounts for more than 50% of the country's GDP. The country's exports are made up of roughly 95% of petroleum, petroleum revenue. Do you hear that? That is how deep Venezuela is dependent on oil. Venezuela is the most inflated capital in the world. As you can see on the map, it shows the economic history of Venezuela. Venezuela's currency is inflated because of the economic bad performance, especially in the oil industry. The world map shows the countries with the highest currency to the lowest currency. Venezuela is the country colored in dark in South America. It is the country with the lowest currency in the world. Guys, now we'll talk about the impacts of climate change, especially in Venezuela. The United Nations and the NGOs have been pressuring countries all over the world to go to more sustainable routes. This had an impact to oil prices because oil contributes to climate change. Petroleum releases greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide to the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. More countries, especially the developed ones that were dependent on oil, are going for renewable energy. This makes countries like Venezuela that are dependent on oil to be at a higher risk of their economy collapsing. Oil has other effects on the environment. Things like spillovers can kill marine life and can take the beach recreational centers from humans because they are no longer suitable for human activities. The eventual shortages of oil revenue will adverse impact in its capacity for adaption. This means that Venezuela might find it hard to adapt to climate change in the future. Model results, despite limitation and differences, all indicate that climate change response measures will adverse effects on developing countries, particularly oil exporting countries. Oil is not the only problem Venezuela has in terms of climate change. Venezuela, due to its geographical situation, is likely to suffer negative impacts from climate change as it has a wide variety of highly vulnerable ecosystems. Venezuela is known for being one of the highest vulnerable countries to climate change. This is a before and after picture of a church in Venezuela. This shows how vulnerable Venezuela is to climate change. This flood occurred in 2008. The picture on your right. Yeah, the picture on your left is how it looks today. 
Just to conclude my presentation, Venezuela is at a very high risk of climate change. If Venezuela doesn't really do anything about this, Venezuela would face serious consequences in the near future, not only on human life, but on the animal life as well. Venezuela uh, on, doesn't only have economy to blame about their climate change vulnerability, they also have uh, their location to blame. Thank you.